Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Ghostbusters Slimer Figure Bank. From the king of bust banks. Now this wouldn't really be constituted as a bust bank, as technically Slimer is really just one big, like he doesn't have legs or anything, so this really not so much a bust as it is a figure bank. But this comes to us from the folks responsible for many very cool piggy banks, the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. You can go to www.diamondselecttoys.com, check out the other banks and other things that they're producing. But I definitely want to get my hands on this bank because I'm such a big fan of the Ghostbusters. Uh, Slimer really turned out extremely cool. Um, I suppose as maybe a small, not so much a gripe, but his arms seem like it's a different material than the rest of his body. Uh, there's not so much a translucency, but it definitely looks like it's a different plastic or less painted than the rest of his body. Uh, the body, though, is extremely cool. Of course, it is hollow, as because you're going to be putting coins in the back. There is no area, there's really not a lot of weight to it. Uh, from, I would say, comparisons to the other banks that we've had a look at, though, he does feel like he's, he's just a little bit heavier, and it probably is due to this amazing sculpt that they've put into him. All the little cre creases and crevices of Slimer. There's a bit of a darker wash that's been put in there that really brings out a lot of those awesome details. I think the face is very iconic, very cool, and very Slimer-esque. And he's got the dark areas around his eyes as well. Nice coloring around his mouth. His teeth are slightly discolored. I would really like to know the story behind Slimer. What made Slimer come to be? There's the back of what he looks like. Again, the slot in the back there where you can put your change into. When you're ready to take your change out, uh, the bottom section here, which I will just barely try to take off here, there is a little locking um, uh, opening there. You turn that, you can take the bank and empty out its contents. I think the beauty of this particular Slimer too, as opposed to maybe some of the other figure banks that we've looked at as well, is because he is round in nature, uh, there's more area, I think, where you can hold change. He's not a very skinny character, as we've seen with other pieces as well. He's a good round shape. Round shape equals a lot of change you can hold inside. Um, Spot has actually a good number of figure banks from the folks over at Diamond Select Toys. I just really love these. I don't use them for all for change because, of course, if you have a good number of them and each of them have change inside, it's hard keeping all your loot if you want to call it that well organized uh, there's a couple of figure banks that i keep more so in change and other things such as the slimer here i'm more just inclined to keep as a display piece he looks awesome he definitely looks like he does in the movie maybe a little less wet as i could say because he's not he's not going to be covered in slime but he's a very cool collectible bank to say the least Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Diamond Select Toys Ghostbusters Slimer Figure Bank. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bah.